Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with a baked hot spinach artichoke dip. This is the video your neighborhood sports bar does not want you to watch because it's so easy and you'll start making it at home. All right, we're going to chop up the light parts of a bunch of green onions, just the white and the light green. It's probably about a half a cup. And a couple tablespoons of butter, we're going to soften that over medium low heat, you know, kind of gently with a big pinch of salt. After that cooks and sweats in that butter for about five minutes, I'm going to add two or three cloves of garlic, turn off the heat, give it a stir, and just let the garlic sit in that hot pan just to take the edge off. I'm not really trying to cook it. All right, I have one can of artichoke hearts that I'm going to roughly chop, and then we're going to throw those in a mixing bowl with one package of chopped frozen spinach, very well drained and squeezed and dry. Do not use watery spinach. You'll ruin this. We're going to add our onion mixture to that, some cream cheese, a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg, some black pepper, some salt, and hot sauce. And then in goes the cheese. I'm using Gruyere and Parmesan. Now we're going to give this a good mix with the spatula. And this is kind of a little annoying and difficult to get it started. But once you get it started, it mixes together really smoothly. So it does take a few minutes. But you know the old saying, you got to suffer for your art to choke spinach dip. All right, sorry. All right, I'm gonna put that in a couple ramekins. You can do this in one larger baking dish, but I kind of like these smaller ramekins, especially if you're doing a party, you can kind of stagger them and send them out in waves. By the way, do not waste time greasing these ramekins. Nothing's gonna stick, and even if it does, there's someone at the party that's going to clean those ramekins like spotless with that last crust of bread. All right, you know what I'm talking about, right? So don't worry about these being hard to clean up. They will be like spotless. This is so delicious. Last step, top it with some mozzarella cheese. That's it, that's gonna go in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes, and it's going to be beautiful, just like that. Now, that's beautiful, but it could be more beautiful. So if you want, pop it under the broiler for just a minute, a little more brown on the top, just makes it a little extra special. You can serve this with anything, crackers, chips. I think freshly sliced baguette is the best. Let me try this out. Make sure you get a little bit of the crusty top in there. By the way, this is a light version, no mayonnaise, no sour cream. So you read about that in the post. It actually came out better than the high fat version, believe it or not. I didn't believe it till I tasted it. Oh, unbelievable. So delicious and incredibly easy to make. So go to the site, all the specific ingredient amounts are there. And as always, enjoy.